Hey, how's it going? Slee Hayward here, and in this video clip, I want to share some hand gripper training techniques on how to properly close and use the heavy grips hand grippers. Now, I actually posted a video uh, recently about the heavy grips hand grippers, and I mentioned that uh, I actually have a hand gripper training manual that I give out for free with every hand gripper order. And one of the comments that I got to this when I mentioned about the hand gripper training manual is people like, you know, really? You need, you need a manual to close hand grippers? I mean, isn't it just as simple as grabbing the gripper and shutting it? And to someone who's not familiar with hand gripper training or grip training in general, it may seem that simple. You know, pick up the gripper and squeeze it. You know, what's so big, big a deal about that? But that's, uh, I guess, taking a very basic, ignorant approach to it. It's almost like me going to a golfer and saying, hey, what's the big deal about golfing? You pick up a club and you swing it. You know, it's no big deal. But if anybody is a golfer, you know that there's a lot more to the game of golf than just picking up a club and swinging it. And when it comes to grip training, there's a lot more to picking up a gripper and just squeezing it. There's actually a right and a wrong way to hold the gripper. There's different kind of gripper techniques that you can use. So I just wanted to briefly cover some of those in this video. Now, when it comes to the grippers themselves, when you look at your hand gripper, you will notice that one side of the gripper is actually a bit straighter than the other. One side of the spring and the other side is a bit rounder. Now, I don't know if you can really see it that well here on this video, but this would be the straighter side and this right here would be the more rounded side. And the way this is, is when the gripper is being made, the straight side is like this and then the spring is coiled around. And the reason why I want to mention that is because the leg with the straight side is what we consider the dog leg, that's what it's called in the gripper world, and that's the side that you want to have in the palm of your hand. The other side you want to have facing outwards. So that's one little tip that a lot of people don't, you know, are not aware of when they start gripper training. Another thing is when you're holding the grippers to set up for them, you want to hold them high in your hand. So you I actually like cup my hands like this and hold the gripper really high in the hand. And the reason for this is because you want to be able to close the gripper shut. And your fingers only bend at a 90 degree angle, right? I mean, you can only bend them so much. So if the gripper is not shut by the time your fingers are bent at a 90 degree angle, then it's not going to shut, period. So that's why you need to hold the gripper high in your hand, push your thumb forward, and then we actually use our free hand to what we call set the gripper. So you pull the gripper in so your fingers are all wrapped around it. Now this is a properly set gripper, and then we can mash the gripper shut. Now like I said, that's all this kind of stuff I actually go into detail in my hand gripper training manual. So I cover that step by step how to do that. Now that's just a regular gripper close. You can also do what we call inverted closes, closing the gripper upside down. And this works different muscles of the hand, different ways, you know, hitting the tendons and ligaments. You can also work individual fingers, hauling the gripper down. You can work the bottom three fingers, haul it down again. We can work the last two fingers. And when it comes to gripper training, it's these last two fingers, your pinky and your ring finger, that are actually the weak link when it comes to mashing the gripper shut. When you're working on those harder grippers, very often, if you can strengthen your pinky and your ring finger, that could be the little edge that you need to move up to the next level gripper. So doing inverted closes with just your pinky and ring fingers can really help build up the strength in those two fingers. And all this stuff actually carries over not only to gripper training, but to your weight training workouts as well. When your grip is strong, you're going to feel a lot more secure when you're doing you know, all your barbell and dumbbell exercises. You're going to be able to hold on, feel stronger, and get more reps. So I mean, gripper training is going to carry over into all your body part workouts. So like I say, those are a few tips that I just wanted to cover about the heavy grips hand grippers. And if you want to pick up your very own set of these, just check out the link below. And I'll also include my free hand gripper training manual, which covers these tips along with a complete hand gripper training workout that you can follow. So like I say, there's a lot more to gripper training than just picking up a gripper and mashing it shut. There's a right and a wrong way to do it, and that's what I cover in the hand gripper training manual. So again, just check out the link below for all the details. Take care. And right now you can get some killer deals on all our heavy gripper combo packs. Just click on the link below this video clip for more information. 
And of course, you're going to get a copy of my hand gripper training manual absolutely free with every gripper order. So again, just click on the link below for all the details.